So, um, here I am, and uh, I'm at Ray's Pub. Ray's, uh, yep. Uh, you, won't, you won't know it, which is fine, <laughs> uh, but if everyone hangs out, it's hang out. Hang, da, 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 da. Hang Joe. If you're ever in Hangzhou, you should come down to Ray's Pub. This is one location. This is the original location, and it's brilliant, so definitely. I've only been in the uh, country for two and a bit days, so I don't feel too bad uh, getting the pronunciation uh, wrong, but I'm trying to learn. Every day is a learning day, as they say. So uh, I'm here with uh, Nicola Hollingsworth. Nicola is someone I've known for quite a few years. We first met uh, when she was working and teaching in the Middle East. Uh, she's a former guest uh, on Learn Live UAE. Um, I wanted to ask you a little bit about international teaching, first of all. Mm. I, mean, I share that the world is a very, very small place. Very uh, small. You know, and you know, just happened to, I'm not here to visit China to meet Nicola, just happened to realise we were you know, in the same place at the same time. Nicola works at a school here. Um, you've worked in a variety of places around the world now, though. What's that like? Yeah, so this is my second international posting. Um, I've been very lucky to have that experience. I, I think what I love about international teaching is the community at the international schools that you that you find and that you you get to experience because it's not only that I have a cultural experience outside in China in the Middle East uh, but also I get to make friends from other countries and also have them support me definitely in China I I had a huge birthday when I first got here and I invited all these people who, let's face it, I didn't know, but they all came to my birthday because they understood that they were now my friends and in a lot of cases my family. And that's really important, isn't it? The fact that you have that wrapper around you to support you with all those different things. We had a really interesting conversation uh, earlier this evening about um, something that happens in your induction in the school you're at. Do you share that? sort of Because, and again, you might think this is inappropriate, but actually, when you are in a foreign country, when you, when you don't know the local customs, you don't know how to order a taxi or mm. pay for a bill or how to order food or so many different things, mm. it's so useful. So can you share about your... MasterChef. Yeah, I can. Master I, Chef. I actually love MasterChef. It came from our old principals who have left now, um, and it's, it's one thing that's carried on. So on our very first day, we start off and we have a brief introduction... Uh, with all of the staff and then we actually break into groups and we go to one of the members homes and while we're at that group members home we cook a meal together we drink together a lot I'm not gonna lie uh, but we have a chance to like you said practice ordering off apps or going to a shop and ordering from a shop uh, cooking local food as well we do have local food and then we all go back to school together and we share that food together. So it's a chance to, to meet people from all different walks of the school life as well because we try and mix it up so that you're not with anyone who's in your department or that you'll end up seeing every day. Um, and then also from different countries so that, so that you have a friend who maybe you can ask about an ordering app, especially in China, Taobao or Alipay or, or any of those kind of things. No, no, I think it's really, really useful and really interesting. And uh, I just want to dive deeper into that a little bit because when you hear Nicola share that you, she talks with other people within, his, within her school and her setting, you might think, well, that's just, you know, people from, you know, I, uh, uh, Nicola teaches PE. It might be that she gets to connect with people in science, but it's not just about science. It's not even about different phase uh, for ages. It's sort of like, you know, key stage one teachers uh, uh, talking to key stage four teachers, uh, you know, grade 12 down to grade one or whatever. There's also other people with in your setting aren't there mm -hmm. who are uh, local speakers can you, can you explain mm -hmm. about the breadth because I think that's one of the really yeah. important features isn't it yeah so especially in early years um, and in in primary school elementary school we have our co-teachers um, so our local Mandarin speaking staff and they're also involved and then also in the upper years our Mandarin teachers our Spanish teachers um, our admin as well come along so our principals are also there our librarians are also mixed in so you really are Trying to, trying to have the whole community represented because we're all part of what we're doing. I think that's absolutely fantastic and it really ties in quite nicely to why we're actually all here this evening. Uh, if you're not following myself or, or Nicola on socials, uh, then you'll see all the other people who were here this evening. We, we were here tonight for Pub PD Asia mm -hmm. yep. and the topic this evening was about multiculturalism, mm -hmm. uh, a lot of it around inclusion, uh, how you support uh, multilingualism within your settings and I think that 
setting that sort of tone from the outset mm. with you, Master Chef. Um, I, I think that's a really, really great way of sort of setting the scene well, isn't it? Yeah, I really enjoy it. And I think that inclusive nature and when we're promoting like all of the different aspects equally is really important. And I think we, we get that with Master Chef and then also these kind of discussions that we get to have tonight as well. So you heard it here first, Master Chef, a great inset day activity. Definitely. Uh, looking forward to uh, colleagues cooking me some of your food and teaching me how to uh, order an Uber and all these different things. Didi. Uh, Didi. 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 Order a Didi. A Didi. A Didi. There we go. <laughs> uh, if you're here in China. Um, so Pub PD Asia, um, it's not just something that happens in Hangzhou, is it? It's no, how, all how over. It? Yeah, it so happens in Hong Kong. It happens in Japan. Uh, it happens in Malaysia. It happens all over. And we, we live tweet at the same time which is pretty awesome and you don't have to be on Twitter or X sorry I haven't updated my app <laughs> and you can join in the conversation it's normally about four questions uh, around different topics so this time it was multilingualism and how that impacts your school community uh, and we happen every three months or so so what, what sort of topics have you had in the past? Uh, we had a topic uh, fresh off the back of Asia coming out of COVID. We talked a lot about how COVID had impacted teachers and students emotionally. So uh, a lot of uh, DIJ topics. Uh, we also had a, a whole topic on AI and the use of AI in education, which I think was a very big thing when we had the topic. So yeah, it's I a very nice, <laughs> yeah, next time. Uh, and people can suggest the topics that we do as well, which I really like. Yeah, I really like that. So um, Nicola had a, a presentation that had been clearly shared amongst all the different uh, Puppy D Asia hosts. Um, and it was nice that all of the uh, questions were being answered. And despite um, obviously being geographically disparate for all of the different events, everyone had access to the same presentation. And everyone was responding at the same sort of time um, uh, to each of the same questions. And then feeding that through onto Twitter, which I think is a mm. really, it's been a great evening here this evening. I've met new people, made new friends. Um, and it links into what I was sharing yesterday about the power of a positive PLN as well, right? Right. Because you're not just connecting and, and reinforcing those connections with people. And there were people here from, from Nicholas School, but there were other schools here representing as well, which I think is absolutely fantastic. When you get that chance to network with those schools that are a little bit further away, not too far away, but you know, a little bit further away that, where you can't all be together. Mm. And I think that's, again, a great way of strengthening that bond and sharing best practices and ideas around a specific topic so mm. um, final question okay and because I don't want to keep people going forever and I've got to upload this sometime later on some Wi-Fi <laughs> um, who would you recommend to follow uh, from the pub PD Asia crew sort of I won't give you a number but yeah who, who should people oh, be checking out there's so many Carlos definitely started pub PD Asia as far as I know um, and is a wonderful guy to follow um, Hi, Carlos. Yeah, I think I'm just going to say Carlos and leave it at that because he tweets out so many people and retweets so many people. Um, definitely give him a follow. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, if you're not sure of who he is and you've seen this before, I pop him into the comments down below. Um, I did tweet about this uh, session this evening, and lo and behold, who was the first person to reply to my tweet with a selfie of everybody? It was Carlos. So thank you very much, Carlos. Well, listen, um, I want to say a massive thank you to you, Nicola, for inviting me. It's been a great chance. To say, I've, I've, I've connected with Nicola uh, for a long time. Mm. Uh, always virtually um, but it goes to what I was sharing last night about the power of a positive professional learning network you, you, you've always got um, someone you can connect with wherever you are and I've learned so much tonight so thank you for connecting thank you for inviting me uh, and thank you for the uh, drinks earlier as well thank you yeah you're very welcome I was so excited and so happy when I saw that you were in Hangzhou and it was it was that power of the professional learning network that I've utilized so much and that if you're a teacher just starting out or an educator who's been in the field for ages I definitely recommend it's never too late to jump on board so wicked and I mean I'll top it in the comments but where can people follow you on social media uh, at Miss Nicola Ann yeah okay pretty <laughs> so. and without the E on the end no yeah <laughs> brilliant stuff well listen thanks for joining us and uh, next time I share something I hope you check that out too cheers thanks for that bye